Ultimate Yoshi here, and it's been like a week since I last played this game. Already. What? What? Oh. Something just... I don't know. Either way, I don't really remember where I last left off. I think it was at a speedway, but I don't remember where that was. But I do recognize this as the beginning of this area, so I'm just gonna keep going forward and... Ow. So, yeah, Spyro is continuation. And, oh yeah, the frame rate of this game is really weird. I forgot about that for a moment. So, I don't know what to talk about. But I just got zapped by Zoe. That's good. You can just go away. You know, why does everything in this game look ugly? I don't, I don't get it. Why? Why does, why do I just think everything looks ugly? Is it a problem with the game or just with me? I I don't know. What do you guys think? The like five, four or five of you who actually are paying attention to this series, tell me what you think in the comments. Or wherever I can hear your opinion. Oh, that that's the speedway up there, so I guess I want to go avoid the random cherry blossoms. This is really like Japan. Japan Spyro. It's like Bamboo Terrace turned into its own overworld. I really don't get how the overworlds work in this game. I guess we'll find that out in the future together. Unless you already know. I know what your deal is. You have a thing stuck in the kite. And I can't reach it. Oh. Um. Um. I, I, I... What? Let me get this straight. Spyro stood on the rock the without moving and the kite magically became undone and floated down towards the dragon kid. That is just what happened. Whatever, do you give me something now? Give me a dragonfly. It's like strangling his neck. Down, Spyro. My buddies RJ and Dougie are flying their kites today too. Have you seen them, Spyro? Who is Rusty, RJ, and Dougie? Why do they exist? I, I don't. Why are they just little red and dragon children? Are th are they the kids who grew up from Spyro Year of the Dragon? I don't know. I, I question this game. A lot- for a lot more than just that. Oh hey, I guess I didn't go over here, because there's a purple gem! Get out of here, you get out of here, and where's the other guy? Oh, that's the breath change. I don't want to- Ow! You whip me with your tail! What was that? Did his sound effects keep going on as he died? That's what it sounded like. And I wouldn't put it past it. Why did Spyro you just stop? I never stop moving. And why don't the enemies drop the little life orbs? Or is that just in Spyro 1 and I'm just mistaking things? I, I was just watching Josh Jepsen's Let's Blind Let's Play of Spyro 1. It takes me back to my Blind Let's Play of it. But I have that game on the mind, so I don't remember what enemies drop in later games. But they're back to dropping gems in this one. I- I'm conf- it's been a while. The sound effects definitely feel like they're going on a little bit too long. I'll have to pay more attention. Oh well. In a way, let's just keep going on. I can't really- is this like a home world or like its own level? I really don't get it. It feels like a weird mixture of both. If I'm being honest. Hey look, it's a waterfall. Oh my god, it's the evil bear himself. Eh, uh, we'll get back to him in a second because I still want to collect these gems. Jimmy Jam, Blam, Boom, Bombs. I noticed that even though the rest of the game feels slower, the gem count feels a little bit faster. So I, I suppose that's an upgrade. Oh yeah, here's a dragon we need to unfreeze. 
You are a dragon wise beyond your years. May the dragon spirits guide you. Dragon spirits. All right, money bags. Bring it on. Why are you wearing pajamas? Ah, Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. I like how his little text bubble, like the logo for his text bubble has money bags separate words, but it says pay money bags and 200 gems and money bags is just one word like it's supposed to be. Oh, we actually have to watch us Thanks, give him the gems Spyro. now. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. But look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. What? Money bags is magic now? That sound effect lasted way too long. I did like a little bit of continuity there, because like at the end of why do these platforms go down? Why why do these platforms have weird physics? I, don't know. I did like the little bit of continuity there because in the end of the year of the dragon, he did say he was gonna go to the uh spooky swamp and become a haiku poet. So, and he was meant talking about poetry there, so I mean Hold on. Future Ulti, was there a gem just sitting here in oh, along those pots and then like it vanished or something? I think something like that happened. I might just be making stuff up. I might have just been seeing things. I don't know. Either way, there's a dragonfly here. And another one of the... Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. I don't want to spook him off and get too close, but I also can't hit him from here. Stop doing loop de loops and let me bubble you. I want to bubble you. Let me bubble you. Let me bubble you. I got too close and spooked him. I hate the dragonflies so far. There, there we go. Hey, it's gone. I just captured a Pokemon protagonist. Oh, the irony. <laughs> All right, what's this? Is this one of the things that sends me up? It kind of looks like it, but also kind of looks like the end of the level gate from Spyro 1. I don't know. I'll examine that as soon as I free this dragon's kite. Oh, hey. Extra life. I still kind of miss the statues from the first game, but I suppose the extra life dragons make a little bit more sense. How did I get up here in the other one? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, all I have to do is just kind of walk onto the thing and do nothing, and then it just releases. Alright, which one are you? <laughs> You're RJ. That was cold, but you saved my kite, so I guess I should thank you. What was cold about you that? You go see Dougie and Rusty, Mr. Spyro. They're my friends, and they like to play with kites, too. What was cold about that? Maybe I should have talked to him before freeing the kite, just so that I could actually have some context for that. Because now I'm just confused! But, this is also Spyro, so I mean, if I wasn't confused, this, this would be totally wrong. Yes, this is one of the things that sends you flying. Oh, it's just a little shortcut backwards. It feels like I'm... It really does feel like I'm flying through molasses. Alright, let's free a dragon, because there's a dragon here. Fast bubbles. Good work, spyro -san. Those Riptox don't seem to be much of a challenge Maybe I should have you. killed that other guy first. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a Dragon Sensei. It could be your density. I mean, your the destiny. Back to the future? Now, I will open that Wh gate. Why is he referencing I Back to the Future? My density. I mean, why is he referencing spyro. Back to the Future? Why is he referencing Back to the Future? 
Why? I'm not gonna get over that. He's a dragon in the middle of this weird Japanese themed realm. And he's referencing back to the future. Why is that a thing that exists in my Spyro game? The other Spyro games were funny because they were funny, not because they just made random references to stuff. I don't like the looks of these weird lizard guys. They don't look like regular Spyro enemies. They look... They look almost too detailed and, like, ugly, I guess. Like, I mean, I'm not saying, like, the previous Spyro enemies looked pretty, but they looked more like, I don't know, pleasant? I don't... It's hard to explain. I don't know, there's a, another dragonfly over here. He almost went to the wall. Hey, it's Cinder! That was some camera. Okay, I'm... You know what's kind of annoying? The L button is what changes the breath, but I'm also used to pressing that button to change the camera. There's no ch There's no change the camera button! Unless it's the... D-pad? Is it the D-pad? Oh, it's the C-stick. Still, I'm used to doing... Pressing the... The trigger buttons to change the camera, because that's what you did in the other Spyro, but now it does different stuff, and that is going to throw me off, and I didn't even realize it until the third episode. Maybe it's not gonna throw me off as much as I thought, but... Still... I don't know. Maybe... Maybe they could have used the D-pad for that instead, so that they didn't... There wasn't run the risk of... Why are there tanks? What is this? What, what is this? I don't know. I'll come back to that. Why are there tanks in a... Jap... Japanese-themed land of... Ancientitude. Also, did I actually lose any gems from money bags? Because I feel like we just had 500. And now we have more than 500. I might just be stupid. Future ulti, am I stupid? Thank you. Whew, okay. So, these are really cl closely placed pots. How am I doing? Let's check the atlas and find out. Game totals... 604 out of 700 and 6 out of 10 dragonflies. Huh. Interesting. Alright. That was... Def probably the most interesting thing that's happened in this video. Oh, there's another dragonfly over there. That's not the camera button. Actually, I did kind of want to do that, though, because that's how you catch the dragonflies. Hey, it's cloudy. With a chance of meatballs. And then Spyro just starts spitting meatballs everywhere. Pew pew! Pew pew! The meatball breath power up! <laughs> The worst thing is, I can just totally imagine them doing that, because... What is that noise? I don't know, I see the last kite over there. That path kind of led nowhere. Youch! Youch! That's never gonna get old. Alright. Need to go all the way around. Oh, I just realized something. They might put supercharge in this game, and the controls are not as good. As you're the dragon, and basically all the other Spyro games. Oh, I guess that spin noise is good. I'm gonna get rid of you guys before the other guy starts talking. So that you're just not making noise the entire time. Die! Just caught on the wall. I don't know what I'm doing! It's Spyro! There are gems. I thought you were a gem. Big old grasshopper. All right, are you the last dragon? You have done well, little dragon. Freeing the dragon senses took much courage. 
I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. You're hoarding dragonflies? Hey, it's Roxy! Remember, Spiral. Find and return the remaining baby dragonflies. They are the fortune of the dragon realms. No, the fortune of the dragon realms is the actual literal fortune. As in the treasure. You had 1,400 of it in the first game. Y you have treasure. I guess that's all the dragons. Also, can I just say the limp... Li the limp. The lip syncing in this game is beyond phenomenal. I have literally no qualms with it whatsoever. Free the thing. 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 Free the goddamn thing! All I had to do previously was stand on the thing, and it did the thing. That, that's a good camera. Free the goddamn thing already! Well, it's broken. I broke the game. I broke the game without even trying. I broke the game without even trying. Uh, dragon, do I need to talk to you first? I don't see. That's good. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. It seems that when I brought my computer down and plugged in the charger, the char- You know how some computers have like, there's a charger, big square box thing, and then there's another thing that you need to plug into that box, and then... It's like basically the charger comes into two wires that plug into each other. Well, the wire part of that apparently came undone and I didn't notice, so I heard a little notice that my computer was running low on power. Would have been- Sucky if my computer just ran out of power in the middle of recording. Alright, anyways. Hi. Hey, it's Mooney. Now we just need to find Padfoot Prongs and Wormtail. Okay, 693. Still need to find a little bit of camera. I am missing two gems. Two be expected. Ah ha 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 puns. Alright. Oh, that's why this is here. Okay. To think they actually had some decent decent level design. Ah, who am I kidding? At least it's some sort of foresight that the developers showed. Um I need gems. Cause according to the Atlas. No. Oh no, I'm missing more than just that. I'm missing one dragonfly and some other gems. I wonder, do the does I guess it has to do with that tank thing that I saw. That's that's all I can guess. I guess those are kind of like the little realm things that you could go into sometimes in levels with the Spyro Use a Dragon, where you just change into a different character, except this time you just Spyro. Um... You know what? I... We'll find out what the deal is with the tanks next time. Tanks for watching! <laughs> Kill me. <laughs>